this trend that, that's caught on of treating it all as a chemical imbalance in the mind. Uh, there are certainly chemical changes that are linked to cognitive changes, right? Mm -hmm. So you you are changing chemicals by changing your thoughts, and in in theory, vice versa. But what is often found is that the chemicals, the the antidepressants, the SSRIs uh, that people get prescribed, they work really well at first, and then the effect sort of fades over the course of six months or a year, um, and that's some combination of the fact that your sort of uh, body adapts to the increased serotonin that it's getting or whatever uh, changes is being made and simply the placebo effect, just the fact that you feel like you're taking something that's going to fix you and that starts having a, a temporary improvement on your mood. Um, I mean, even before the effects have, have had time to kick in, you take a pill and you're feeling like, ah, okay, my problems are solved. Right. I don't have to right. change my life. I don't have right. to change my mind. and. Uh, it, it does seem to me, based on the research, that uh, that cognitive therapy actually making changes to your mind and to your life, right, which is sort of goes into the exposure therapy, behavioral activation side. These are, are more sustainable ways to change your mind than to just take a chemical and hope it balances things out.